Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I am going to be talking about the new moon uh, partial solar eclipse in Leo that will take place on August 11, 2018. Now, when you're talking about a solar eclipse, it's like a new moon, but much uh, more powerful, prodigious, and monumental in terms of its impact and a potential impact and effect on a person. And it could often uh, have more an impact for a more sustained uh, period. And even a faded meeting uh, may take place or, or, or event. Now, also, this could be very powerful, uh, extemporaneous and spontaneous energy. It could be a time where you embark on a, on a new, perhaps life-altering project or endeavor. Now, uh, what may have prohibited you before uh, may not uh, do so now and whatever may have held you back if there was anything that was frivolous or superfluous uh, this could be a time where you may very well discard it and, and eliminate it and I'm um, actually just be able to, to move forward procrastination on something may very likely end uh, at this time and allow you to initiate a new beginning uh, this could be a very strong period for enterprise and initiative and uh, also, given, I mean, the solar eclipses um, can be very uh, exceptionally revitalizing and rejuvenating energy. Uh, this could indicate a surfite, a near overabundance of energy uh, at this time. And uh, I mean, given Leo, I mean, it could be near inexorable, indefatigable energy as well. And everyone collectively may be impacted by this new moon solar eclipse, but especially people with the sun, moon, ascendant in Leo or the zodiac sign Cancer. Now, Leo, of course, because it is going to be in their sign, and then Cancer simply because, while well, Cancer can be impacted strongly by all fate transits and phases of the moon because it does rule their sign. And I think this can factor in strongly as to why the zodiac can sign Cancer can be exceptionally moody, uh, temperamental, and fickle. Now, this transit uh, may also mark, I mean, given this is Leo, it may mark a very strong period uh, beginning period of extroversion and gregariousness uh, and kind of like if you got it flaunted uh, mindset at this time and it'd probably be very startling for people that especially like if you have a very introverted uh, chart let's say you have a preponderance of planets below the horizon and houses one through six and and have a lot of say uh, feminine uh, astrological energy in your chart so uh, this could also be um, really that this could be done uh, going to this again uh, it could be a very new period of this extroverted gregarious energy you got it flaunted mindset and also uh, many may start something uh, new that may be Leo uh, related with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, generous energy and a lot of fortitude and courage and it could be a time where you simply at this point in time where uh, it could be a new period of demanding, even commanding recognition and notoriety and decidedly wanting to be more praised and lauded for your uh, for your efforts, for what you're doing. Um, and this could also, again, be something very life altering and changing. And uh, I mean, a new uh, Leo like project may be initiated and embarked on. Um, it could be, uh, I mean, let's say, for example, I mean, this happens in the fifth house. I mean, this could be a period of a uh, new period of gregariousness that might lead uh, to a very sustained uh, romantic uh, period. And uh, also, uh, again, as an example, this takes place in the fifth house. This could be something connected with creativity children entertainment theater or i should say i mean anyway what, what actually what i need what i'm saying is i'm sorry let me revise this a little i want to say just in general as far as this uh this new moon solar eclipse in leo goes uh this could be a, a new period for somebody uh that might start something new uh with connected with children something leo related entertainment theater amusement film production casting could even be game designing uh computer starting some kind of computer game uh creating one it could be uh doing something new associated with sports uh cardiology or anything with the heart and also 
again now going to the house it's also important to look at the house this falls in as this of course could impact the delineation now let's i mean in my case mine is going to fall in the fourth house now this could indicate uh perhaps showing tremendous focus and concentration of energy and attention into something new uh, with much uh, enterprise, tremendous enterprise and initiative that could be home, family related. Um, it could be done, I mean, family related, something close to home uh, involving emotional security, even foundation. And given this, this is Leo, could be done with a lot of Leo-like ferocity, but perhaps also near indefatigable energy and with much confidence and self-assuredness and with a lot of pride and dignity uh, as well. Uh, but it might be something that might be somewhat extravagant at the same time as well, considering that this is Leo energy. Now, it's also important to look at the aspects this makes uh, in your chart, as this could impact the interpretation as well. Now, um, with mine, it's going to make a fairly close conjunction to my natal Venus and Leo in my fourth house. Now, this could signify perhaps uh, it could be uh, making, um, it could be a lot of attention and focus on making a new extravagant purchase connected with the home, or, or perhaps embark on a new uh, Leo relationship with someone I feel close to home with and be and might really be tied in for that end of life period. And again, I mean, this could be, I mean, it could be a Leo sun, moon, or ascendant, or simply someone that embodies Leo-like characteristics. Now, also too, um, this is going at the same time this is going to square my Saturn in Taurus in the 12th house. Now, because of this, there might be a conflict because what we mean squares can be about that adverse aspects in general. Uh, this could be as far as the Saturn in Taurus in the 12th goes, that could be about laborious, persistent work in seclusion. And that may conflict with this uh, this new moon solar eclipse energy in the 4th. It could be connected, it could conflict with that, um, that ener with that energy, which could be very powerful, uh, attention focus on a Leo love, uh, close to home, doing something just home, starting something new that's home related, uh, perhaps, uh, in general. So anyway, um, now, uh, the next, the, the, what I want to also say about this is, and remember that Saturn in the 12th can have an aversion to letting others uh, into their life. And I'm going to and, and say this solar eclipse in Leo hitting that, hitting that fourth house and you have all this extroverted gregarious energy that strong focus on it, perhaps with somebody uh, that I, I want to express this energy with someone I feel close at home with. Well, that could be a conflict as well, because again, Saturn in the 12th can have that aversion to letting others into their lives. So it could be a little bit, a, a little bit of a conflict uh, with me as far as that goes. So anyway, but also too, um, as far as saving symbols go, this is going to fall at the 18th uh, degree of Leo. And as far as saving symbols go, well, this could indicate perhaps much egotistical, even coxcombical, pretentious energy. Uh, so I think that what's important during this uh, new moon solar eclipse is not to let over, not to become overly cocky or, or overconfident in perhaps embarking on a new Leo-like endeavor. Uh, for example, let's say that you have this, um, let's say you have this uh, take place in the fifth house and you're like, I mean, in the fifth house and the fifth house could be associated with sports. And uh, let's say you're trying, you're, you know, you're working out vigorously and you're trying to um, bench press maybe a lot more than what you're accustomed to. Uh, I mean, overconfidence can often lead to some kind of, uh, in this case, I mean, trying to do too much could wind up uh, maybe causing some injury. Uh, as an example, trying to bench press too much can cause an injury, of course, to the physical body uh, because maybe perhaps due to overconfidence. So those are some things, um, I mean, to look at, say, if you have this in the sixth house in your chart, I mean, trying to do uh, too much with this near inexorable Leo-like energy that might be very abundant 
uh, it could lead to some, if it's in the sixth house, it could lead to some kind of overexertion or, uh, I mean, in, in turn, and could really strongly affect your health, uh, or maybe even some heart issues, uh, for maybe work, for maybe working, uh, too hard, thinking you can accomplish, being overconfident in terms of what you can accomplish on a work employment, you know, something connected with your employment. So anyway. Well, anyway, um, another thing, too, you're going to have like six planets and as well as Chiron are going to be retrograde at this time. So you got to factor that into the equation in terms of trying to start uh, something new because you're going to have all that retro energy so that it, it might make it a little bit more difficult to, as far as capitalizing on this energy. And remember, too. I mean, there might be, I mean, when you have all that retrograde energy, there can be an abundance of reviewing. Now, also, too, the new moon a solar eclipse may intensify other electional aspects. Now, at this time, you're going to have uh, Mars retrograde will make a very close conjunction to the black moon Lilith in Aquarius at zero degrees. Now, this could manifest in multiple ways. One way it could be perhaps a new time of courageously exposing fraudulent Aquarius-like people such as innovators, scientists, astrologers, it could even be people in aerospace, people that uh, claim to be, for example, uh, more proficient in computers uh, than they may actually be. Uh, it could be a time to, uh, I mean, and, and it could be by putting them in a negative limelight because you have that solar eclipse and Leo energy going on simultaneously while you have that Mars and Aquarius, Black Moon Lilith in Aquarius conjunction. Now, also, too, this could be a time, another way this could manifest, though, this could also be a time where energy may be given to frauds and charlatans that may be trying to get the limelight for something that they didn't uh, create, but keep in mind you're going to have uh, that lunar, uh, I'm sorry, that full moon uh, in Pisces later in the month, so that could very well expose maybe some of this uh, duplicitous deceptive behavior that might be taking place around this time of the solar eclipse. Now, also, too, um, when you look at uh, transits at this time of the solar, uh, this uh, new moon solar eclipse in Leo, transits to natal points in your chart at this time can be significant as well as the eclipse of course could amplify them now transit venus is going to make a tight conjunction to my natal uh, uh sex house uh uranus now uh what's interesting not only am i going to have that solar eclipse in leo is going to come very close to my venus um which is also my chart ruler of course venus can be about money I'm also going to have transit Venus make a tight conjunction to my natal Uranus, which is conjunct the sixth house cusp, and it's in the sixth house now, as far as Uranus goes. Now, I mean, this could manifest again multiple ways. This could be maybe intensify, perhaps maybe greater propensity to get funds for some kind of astrological work or just the, for the future in general, um, maybe for freedom related issues. Or it could be an unanticipated love may come along that may strongly impact uh, my daily routine given that this is the sixth house. Now, this uh, combined with the transit um, solar eclipse conjoining um, with this transit solar eclipse making that conjunction to my Venus, of course, this could be very auspicious for money. I really hope it is. I mean, I guess I'm going to find out uh, soon enough uh, in like four days. So anyway um and also too you got you could factor i mean uh, another transit that i have to look at though unfortunately is this an, an adverse or negative one transit saturn is going to be opposing uh my natal mercury at this time so unfortunately i mean it, that might modify any kind of um you know if there's any upbeat energy going on in connection on the on this day as far as the solar eclipse uh the new moon partial solar eclipse in Leo goes this that transit that transit Mercury making an opposite I'm sorry transit Saturn making an opposition to my natal Mercury it could modify things because it might it could indicate that I might be seeing 
uh, the negative as think about the negative aspect of a lot of things and thinking very pessimistically and maybe thinking you know somewhat uh, I need to guard against becoming overly despondent or melancholy regarding certain things so and uh, that's basically what I have to look at as, as far as for me as this go um, as far as this uh, new moon partial solar eclipse in Leo so anyway people That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for uh, my take on the August 11th, 2018 uh, new moon uh, partial solar eclipse in Leo. Stay tuned next time where I'm going to be talking about the 29th degree of Aquarius. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.